All right, so hi everybody. Um, down on the Seattle waterfront today. Um, just needed to get outside and, and take a few deep breaths. Um, I said during my last video that I would take a second to try and record the next time that I was triggered and walk you guys through what one of the tools I use um, to sort of process and work through my uncomfortable emotions. Um, there's a lot going on for each and every one of us and of course there's going to be moments where you feel joyful but there's also going to be moments of pain and I just kind of wanted to share my own. Um, not because I hope any of you experience pain, that's not it at all, but just so that way you can see an example of something that helps me and, and then maybe it might help you too. So. Right now I'm feeling my heart's really heavy and it's hurt. It's feeling very, very broken. Well, not very broken. I've had worse before, but it's, it feels like, you know, there's a wound, there's a definite wound. Um, and with that, I'm feeling, it's like there's a deep sense of sadness as well as um, anger. But the anger is more directed at myself. Um, for putting myself into this situation, which I know I need to be more compassionate with myself, which is part of the reason why I'm doing this exercise. So what you do is you first identify the emotion. So I'm gonna do the sadness first. Um, so I'm feeling really sad, which is true. I'm definitely feeling sad. And where in the body, um, that's where you go next. Like where in the body do you feel it? So keep clutching my heart. I have some rocks too that I've picked up along the way for some support. Um, but I feel it in my heart. And then, it, um, does it have a shape? Oh, a hummingbird. I've been seeing a lot of those lately. Um, does it have a shape or a color? Um, normally I'm like closing my eyes and on my bed and focusing on it. So it might be a little bit harder, but I'll talk through as much as I can. Um, so it does. It's like a broken heart. That's what it looks and feels like is a broken heart. So it's like jaggedy, red, crimson, like sharp, painful, um, and the size of my heart. And then you just sort of feel into it. You recognize it and you feel into it. And you just see if it has, like if it could speak to you, does it have anything to say? And really, um, what my heartbreak is saying to me is I'm here. Like you've been trying to deny my existence this pain that you feel from this like end of this relationship for a long time now and it's not okay and you're not okay and I'm present and I exist within you and I need you to hold me and support me and love me and let me know that it's gonna be okay that this pain that I feel right now this is my heartbreak speaking to me um, that I'm not alone so really that's it's speaking to me and just telling me that I've been trying to run away from it and avoid it and deny this heartbreak that's currently going on in my life for a really long time, which is true. I totally have. It's only being back in Seattle that's surfacing all of these emotions that I haven't been willing to deal with. So it's just, it's literally just asking me to be with it um, and hold it. So I don't think I can properly complete this exercise right now. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna take some time to just be with my heartbreak and be with my pain and give it some love and let it know that I'm that I'm here that I'm in pain too that's the other thing it's really clearly saying is I'm not separate from you I'm within you and you're in pain and you need to admit that you're in pain like you can't move forward unless you're willing to admit that your hearts a bit broken yeah, that feels really good actually, even though it's heartbreak. I'm talking you through heartbreak. Um, so yeah, so that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna spend some time this evening just being there, you know, giving myself some love and some compassion, letting myself know that it's okay to feel this way and to feel this pain, but holding myself in a place of love and in a place of compassion. Um, not in anger, which I was starting to dive into earlier um, for getting myself in this situation again, but in compassion for 
recognizing that it's there and it exists and it's something that I need to just love. I need to love my heartbreak and be with my heartbreak um, so that way I can open up to whatever is next. Okay, that's it. That's one example. Oh yeah, sorry. So to complete the exercise, you do all of that. So you feel into it. You figure out your emotion, anger, pain, sadness, anxiousness, whatever it might be. Where in the body does it exist? Does it have a texture? Does it have a size, shape, color? Um, then you be with it. You, If it has something to say to you, what would it say? Um, and then what I'm going to do tonight is I'm just going to embrace it and I'm going to allow it to do whatever it needs to do. So I feel like there's going to be tears and there's going to be processing and there's going to be all of that but you just let it be and you love it and you let it you let it do what it needs to do and when you feel like that's complete you feel into it again and you see if it's transformed so i might do a follow-up tomorrow um, to talk you through what it looks like after i um, have a date with my heartbreak <laughs> this evening it'll be interesting because maria in the past would have immediately gone to alcohol and cigarettes and I'm not really doing either one of those things um, in my current moment in time so I'm really gonna have to be with it all right sending lots of love love and light to you guys I hope um, everyone is well take care out there and if you are um, you know going through something just know you're not alone you're not alone and we're all we're all in this we're all in this together okay take care out there speak soon